Lich Specialization is a mod for Dragon Age Origins that adds a new Lich Specialization for Mages. The Lich's abilities focus on Life Drain and Minion Summoning. The first ability you get as a Lich is Death Bolt. It's an attack that deals spirit damage and also heals you. It's similar to Drain Life. It's nice to have this as an additional way to heal yourself, but it's not very unique or groundbreaking because its function is so similar to the vanilla Drain Life spell that already exists. The next ability you get is called Soul's Drain, which is an AoE attack that drains mana or stamina from enemies while also dealing spirit damage and healing you. It's a very good spell, but has a long cooldown. When you're surrounded by enemies and heavily damaged, this spell can heal you right back up to max health. Undead Swarm is my favorite ability. It is a sustained ability that you cast and it will raise nearby corpses up as skeletons to fight for you. I did some tests and the corpses must be humanoid and must also not be skeletons. They've got to be fleshy humanoid corpses, like fallen humans, elves, dwarves, or darkspawn. For this reason, I'd avoid looting corpses until you've already summoned your minions. The radius of the spell is rather wide, but not super wide, so try to make sure that all your enemies die in the same area. The skeletons will persist permanently, so long as your ability remains active. Unfortunately, the skeletons disappear when you change areas. The spell raises a maximum of 3 skeletons, but this is raised to a maximum of 6 when in lich form. More on that later. The type of skeleton spawn seems to be random. You can get skeleton warriors and skeleton mages, as well as elite forms of either. The equipment used by the skeleton warriors varies, and can be anything from sword and shield, to daggers, to bows and arrows. I haven't seen skeletons of two-handed weapons yet, but maybe that's also in the cards. The abilities of the skeletons seem to be randomized too, but they don't have many abilities, only a couple. You can't check what they have unless there's only one of them, because when more than one skeleton is there, the portrait disappears. The skeletons can be healed using standard healing spells. The final ability of the Lich Specialization is Lich Form, which is a sustained ability that transforms you into a Lich. The appearance of the Lich is the same as that of an arcane horror, and while in this form, you get increased spell power and armor, as well as extra health and mana regeneration, but you cannot restore health or mana using potions. Lich form also raises the skeleton limit up to 6, which is really nice. Unfortunately the transformation is quite buggy, you have to be careful that you're out of lich form whenever dialogue or automatic transitions happen, because you can become stuck in it. Here you see my character cannot fully leave lich form and has a bugged appearance. This happened after cutscenes and automatic transitions while in Lich form. I'm scoring the Lich Specialization mod as 6.5 out of 10 for its minion mechanics. The minions are permanent, which is great. The skeletons are well balanced in terms of their strength and abilities. Unfortunately, the usefulness of the minions suffers because of how they're lost during area transition, and also because of how corpses are needed to make them. If the corpse requirement was there and they persisted during transitions, they'd be far more useful. As it is, they are a nice bonus you can have in certain situations, but cannot be relied upon as a primary means of doing battle. To fix this, I'd either remove the corpse requirement so you can have your skeletons out all the time, or I'd find a way to make them stay with you during area transitions. The corpse requirement is nice for immersion, and I consider this mod to be quite immersive. Minion variety is also low because all you get are skeletons, although the skeletons are different enough of their equipment and appearance to not feel too samey. This is a good mod if you're looking for some minions on the side or you really want lich form, but if you're considering it for a purely minions based playstyle, I'd recommend the conjuration mod instead, which I did a video on several years ago. That mod has more minion variety and also no corpse requirements so you can have your skeletons out with you all the time, which makes the minions playstyle really feasible. Although in the Conjuration mod the number of minions is far lower, something like 2 or 3 at a time, not 6 like this mod. Another problem with the Lich Specialization mod regarding a minions playstyle is that you will not have any minions until level 12, which is quite a long wait, whereas in the Conjuration mod you can have your first skeleton right away at level 1. 
In any case, I like this mod and it's certainly worth looking at for your next playthrough of Dragon Age Origins. Thanks for watching, I've got more videos on necromancy stuff coming soon. If you like what I do, consider supporting me on Patreon. In the short term it helps me afford to buy games to look at. In the long term, if I get enough supporters, maybe I can dedicate myself to making necromancy videos full time. Then the frequency of videos can increase because instead of working all day, I can make videos all day instead. You can also get a special Discord rank and the occasional exclusive content.